Well, hello. Welcome to round seven of the Great American Stampin' Show. I'm Jody Reinert, and yes, I was the winner, finally the winner of round six. I've got my crown. I did add the boa. I thought it was kind of fun, and I like it. So I'm wearing the boa, too. Um, so this is round seven, and it features Autumn Leaves, which is from the new Stampin' Up! mini catalog. We're really excited. The um, Autumn Leaves is part of the bundle All About Autumn, and it is gorgeous. It's just got some stunning products in there. The papers, well, really everything. I, I just love the whole product suite. So we're really excited to share some ideas with you about those. So like usual, you'll watch my video, you'll click through the links, and you'll watch the other three videos, and then I'm hoping that you'll decide I should keep my crown, and you'll come back and give mine the thumbs up. Um, in addition to that, we're starting a new thing for you guys. You'll want to subscribe to my email list because the 12 weeks leading up to Christmas, we're going to do an exclusive email tutorial. So each week for those 12 weeks, you're going to get a tutorial that's got a photo, step-by-step -step instructions, and we're switching it up. So we're each doing a few of them. So you'll get some different um, styles of creativity in there too. So make sure you join my email list so that you don't miss out on the 12 weeks of Christmas exclusive tutorials. And then of course, I'd love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel right here so you don't miss anything else that uh, I want to share with you guys too. So go ahead and relax and go through all the videos. Like I said, I'm hoping I keep the crown. So uh, give me your thumbs up, but just relax and enjoy these videos with autumn leaves. All right, so let's start by going over some of the products in the All About Autumn suite. So there are some gorgeous, absolutely stunning designer papers. One side of the paper is like a photograph. Aren't they just amazing? The texture is so impressive on these photo sides of the paper. Look at that. These are all six by six. And in this package, you get four of each of the patterns. So you get 48 sheets. So this is one side, the photo nature texture type feel. Then you flip them over and you have these gorgeous copper foiled almost specialty papers. So you've got some different patterns, but primarily you've got Mossy Meadow, Moody Mauve, Pretty Peacock, and Copper Clay. And it's just a gorgeous combination of really rich colors. Now, in addition to this designer paper, you've got, um, let's see here. You've got this specialty paper. This one is all copper, but it's got like different depths to it almost. And then this one pulls in some pretty peacock. Uh, the way the light reflects off of it in person is just gorgeous. I hope to capture that in the project I'm going to share with you. Then, of course, we've got the crown jewel, the stamp set. And what I did is kind of to show you the different dies because there are so many dies that come with this bundle. I set the dies on the page in the mini catalog. So you can kind of see, and they show you that with that outline there that there's a coordinating die, but I kind of wanted to give you a real feel for it. And so you've got the three bigger leaf images and all, those all have coordinating dies. Um, and then you've got these detailed, like the veins of the leaves, and those all have coordinating dies. And then you've got the different labels for the greetings. But that's not all. Wait, there's more. All of these dies still come in that package. So these cut just the shape of a, of a leaf, and I'm gonna show you some samples with those. And then these are little stitched lines, which just add a really fun element to your projects. So there is so much more than what you see outlined on these different images. There is a lot here in this package of dies. Um, what else? We've got an embossing folder and you'll see this in use on my project as well. I think that's about everything. There's a couple little things I'll pull in as I'm doing the card and I'll show you there. So let's get started with the card that I'm going to show you. My card base is copper clay and then I'm going to pull in some pieces of 
the designer paper. So I've got this, I just thought that was adorable. That aerial view of the pumpkins is just so sweet. And then this is some of the um, regular designer paper, but it's it's got that copper foil in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my stamp and seal and put some adhesive on the back so that I can attach this to the card. And I'm going to line it up kind of over here, giving an equal border around those three sides. And then I'll take my other one that's more monochromatic and attach that right next to it. So we'll put that there again, creating the equal border so that we've got about an eighth of an inch around the edges. Okay. Now, I was trying to decide if I want to pull in a piece of copper clay that's embossed or if I want to use another piece of the designer paper. So I kind of went back and forth on this. I like the way this looks and the contrast that it gives, but I decided to go with the texture that the embossed layer has. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach that. When I have an embossed layer, I tend to use a little bit more adhesive than I normally would, just because of all those raised surfaces, I want to make sure that it's attached really well. So I'll just set this right about there. Okay, now I'm going to build in some of the other elements. So if you recall on the dies, these pieces here, I went ahead and took some copper clay cardstock and die cut one of these leaves. So this is what it looks like. It's got that little line built right in. And then I also took this one here and die cut from some of that specialty paper, that tone on tone copper. It's just so pretty. And then I did another one that's on some of the regular designer paper with the gold, or excuse me, copper foil side up. So I've got those few pieces ready to go. Um, do I want to attach those? I think I'm gonna build all my leaves first and then I'll put the pieces all together. So I've got these few pieces ready to go and then I need to do some stamping. So I'm gonna pull in a piece, just like a scrap piece of very vanilla and I've got copper clay ink, and I've got my leaf image that looks like this. So I'm going to ink it up, and I'm going to stamp. Ooh, I got a lot on that acrylic block. I'm gonna stamp once and twice. So same exact stamp, but when I stamp it two times, it's almost like I have two different colors. So that's full strength copper clay, and that's stamped off one time. Now you might notice like it got ink in the middle of that leaf design. That's very intentional. That's how that stamp set is designed. So that lighter shading in there, that will pick up ink as well. So it's not just the outline of the leaf, it's the actual leaf itself. And so I love the way that looks a little bit lighter naturally right inside. Now I'm going to take the piece that coordinates with this leaf shape and I'm going to stamp this directly on the lighter leaf. So this one I'm gonna leave as is. This one that's the stamped off, the second stamped image, I'm going to add the copper clay like vein type. Um, image to that. So now I've got my two leaves and I'm going to just grab the die, set it over each one and die cut that. Now I've got these two separate leaves and before I start putting all of these together, I'm going to do one little thing to this darker leaf. Actually, while I have my ink out, I am going to go ahead and stamp my greeting before I put that away. So this is one of the greetings from the stamp set and one of the labels that I die cut in advance. So we've got that and now I can just put my ink away. So I've got the vein look on the lighter leaf, but I wanted something on the darker leaf. And so I'm going to show you a little trick I went ahead and die cut this with some of that same copper paper 
that I use to cut this sleeve, but I wanna show you a trick on how to attach this to the sleeve. So you could use like a fine tip glue pen. You could try to use Stampin' Seal, but I think that would be a pain. So what I'm gonna do is show you a trick with our liquid glue. I'm going to just put a blob of glue over on the side, and I'm going to set this piece that I want to attach face down and I'm going to pull in a little sponge. I just cut a little part of the sponge and I'm going to dab that on my glue and then right over on top of this layer I want to attach. Now I can lift it up carefully and grab my piece that I want to attach it to. It's definitely sticking to my fingers a little bit and just set it right down on top. Sometimes when I have a piece like that, I like to put it upside down and then I can rub a little bit more freely to get it to stick. So that's just a little tip on how to use the multi-purpose liquid glue with a sponge and the silicone mat. This right here is the key. So now I've got that detail. Let me try to get that focused for you. I've got that detail on that leaf, which is just going to make it set apart. And what's awesome about the silicone mat is that when I'm done, I can just take this, let me set this aside. I just kind of ball this up and the adhesive just balls up into these little pieces that I can just roll up in my finger and throw away and it's as good as new. So I'll do that when it's a little bit drier. I got a little too much on there. Um, okay, let me set that aside in a safe place and then pull in all my pieces. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with, I think I'm gonna start, yeah, I'll start with this. <laughs> Indecisiveness, what do I wanna do first? I'll start with this leaf and I'm going to put it right about here. I'm intentionally having it hang over just a little bit there. And then I'm just going to build. I'm going to attach these different leaves and just build a focal point on our card. We'll do this tiny little one. It's in the copper clay. Um, gosh, maybe like there. And then this one, this is just so pretty, so pretty in person, you've got to see it. And this one, I'll just put kind of in the middle there. And then this bigger one, this one I'm actually going to attach with some Stapen Dimensionals. So I'll go ahead and put a couple of those on the back, peel off the backing, and this I'll put right about here. And then the greeting that I did, I'll add some dimensionals to that. And maybe one down here. And add that to the card. This is such a quick and creative card and it uses so many different fun products. Actually, I'm gonna put that up just a little bit more so you see more of the embossed layer. Check that out. Look at all of the detail on there. I love this paper and the foil on here, but there's just so much foil that catches the light. It's just such a quick and creative card that it's so pretty. One last thing I'm gonna do to finish up is to add some new embellishments. These are called adhesive backed speckled dots and they are also part of the All About Autumn suite. And I'm going to pull in this um, lighter shade. It's called Crumb Cake. And we'll just add a couple dots on here. They're sticky on the back, which makes them really easy to work with. There we go. So that is my quick and creative card that I have for you featuring the All About Autumn suite. And I want to ask you one last question. Which of these 
do you prefer? They're very, very similar, aren't they? There's a different um, color focal point. This one's Moody Mob. This one is Copper Clay. But the style is the same. Just changed up the designer papers and ink color a little bit. Traditionally, I would have gone with the Copper Clay. Those are the colors we think of with fall, right? But I'm going to tell you, I'm absolutely loving Moody Moth. It has definitely... Um, just given me some new insight on how to be creative with my fall cards and the combination of all of these colors in the product suite with the Copper Clay and Pretty Peacock, Moody Moth, and Mossy Meadow. I just love all of those colors together. So that is what I have for you today. Don't forget to vote. I am happily still wearing my crown and I'd like to keep it. So make sure you vote. Don't forget to subscribe to my email list so you can be part of that exclusive 12 Days of Christmas. And then go ahead and comment and tell me which of these you like, Moody Mauve or Copper Clay. Which one draws your attention the most? All right, thanks so much for watching. Click the other links and enjoy the Great American Stampin' Show. Thanks for watching. Bye.